Hello believers! In this video we will know about upcoming FC Mobile updates and training transfer system in FC Mobile. Furthermore, all these topics are covered throughout this video. 1. Our first 100 million coins in 0 to 100 OVR as a F2P account. 2. New FC Mobile updates change and training transfer information. 3. Upcoming best investment to earn million coins. So believers welcome back to episode 7 of the 0 to 100 OVR as F2P series, where our aim is to reach 100 OVR and 1 billion. Coins from scratch, as a free to play user. So make sure to subscribe to the channel as once we reach 100 OVR in this account, it will be gifted to one of you who subscribes the channel. Now let's move to point number 1. Our first 100 million coins in 0 to 100 OVR as a F2P account. So yesterday we invested 80 million coins in the 90 rating players, and the investment went too well. I invested 90 rating players on around 2.1 to 2.3 million. And now they have reached the 3 to 3.1 million mark. That means with deducting 10% tax, I am getting 400 to 500k profit per card, which is decent to be honest. With 80 million coins I invest around 33 to 35 90 rating cards, and I am selling 90 rating cards on average 3 to 3.1 million. So selling 35 cards on 3 to 3.1 million makes 100 million plus coins. And with that I reached the first 100 million coins in our account within just one week. Now let me know how many coins you have. Reached in your new account. With the profit I got I am going to invest in some of the players. Now, everything about why I am investing in these players will be explained in point number 3. And I will also tell you what's the disadvantage of investing in these players and why I am investing in them. Anyway, now let's move to our daily progress. Right now, I am not having any good amount of coins as I already did investment for getting more profit, and I will try to grind around 10 million coins. More with some strategies. So let's see how we can earn 10 million more coins. First, today is the weekend challenge and you all know that we always get players above 2 million in the weekend challenge, which is definitely helping us for more coins. Alright, let's open the pack. It's founder walkout with center back position. A 90 rating dunk. Direct 4 million coins from these players, and getting 90 rating players is profit as they are recently increased. So I sold him and got 3 million. Instantly. Now, I have completed all the missions of the Heroes chapter and I do have a good amount of tokens, so let's open each pack one by one. First here are 83 plus packs and let's see what I can pack. It's 85 rating Pedro Bro. Another pack has 87 rating players. I got 1 million valued players, which is decent to be honest. Now, in the Motor Tricky Rees chapter, let's open 83 plus pack. Founder walk out always. Center attacking midfielder and bro not doing good. Let's go to the Conductor chapter. I only got one dude deck and didn't find any packs which can give me coins. Let's go to the Flash Freeze. I got one more dude deck here and got 85 plus untradeable pack to open. I got Pedro Nato which is of no use to be honest. I have completed all the matches in the MLS event. I got free dude deck in this chapter. In the MLS playoff also I got one more dude deck. Ha ha ha, today is dude deck day. I completed all 6 MLS cup matches, and I can open the 85 to 97 MLS ultra pack. Let's claim it and see what I can get. No bro no seriously always the trash founder walkout. I am literally getting irritated by this walkout. Not thing good. I got around 1 million valued players. Now I have to open the base pack 5 times to get free gems, and I will be able to choose any of these 3 rewards. So let's open the base pack. I do have exactly 40 tokens, and I can open the base pack for 5 times only. I got very low valued players but also fine. Now I can choose one reward among three. So what are you going to pick? I am definitely going to pick 90 to 97 as I need coins. So let's open it. Bro, why EA always shows this worst walkout ever? It's center midfielder and, and Nagby with 90 rating. Again, I got instant 3 million cons as 90 ratings have reached a good price at the moment. Today I almost got around 10 million valued player, and now my work is to hold players which can increase in upcoming days, and sell the players like 90 rating which are already increased. Let's move to point number two, new FC. Mobile updates change and training transfer information. So the new FC mobile update is coming, and it might come on next Thursday, as there is live stream going to be held from official FC mobile next Tuesday. 
That day, we will get a lot of information about the new gameplay changes that are done in FC Mobile. Furthermore, the new event Centurions is coming, and that event will be a long event where we have to choose between three to four Icon players. It will contain these players, and probably they will have 94 or 95 rating in my prediction, just because right now, there is no use of 93 rating players. We have already a lot of 93 rating players form this Heroes event, and mostly EA upgrades one OVR in each event. It can be 95 as doing a lot of grinding for just a 94 rating is not worthy. Anyway, let's see what surprise we will get in this gameplay update. Let me know if you are excited for the gameplay update or not. As of now, in the Korean version, these improvements are done. I don't know if these all things will be in the global version or not, but let's wait for it. Firstly, the cross spam works no more as the players who are doing cross spam will not face towards the post, and that makes the cross inaccurate. Also, sometimes the goalkeeper comes to catch the ball in case the opponent does a cross. The through passes and passes are also improved a lot as Taimo, who is the gameplay producer of FC Mobile, explained in the Korean version of the game updates. Also, in the versus attack, we complete a match unless we do a last attack. Some people just leave players to play VSA, but now they must complete all the attacks to complete the VSA match. I don't have to talk about spectator mode as I already explained what it is in other videos. They have improved the speed of the dribbling. In the Korean version there is also the foggy weather added. Anyway, wait till the Tuesday live stream and let's see what surprises we can see that day. Now talking about the training transfer. System. I found FC Mobile News posting that there was a training transfer added in the test version of the game. It was added in the Korean version, and there is not any more information about training transfer in this April update. So I am not sure whether the training transfer will come or not. It may take more time to bring training transfer. Anyway, I am excited for the new gameplay update. Let's move to point number three. Upcoming best investment to earn million coins. Right now, there are a lot of investment opportunities to earn coins. I have divided investment into two parts which are crash investment and requirements investment. So I will discuss both of the investments. First, let's talk about the crash investment. So recently I have published a lot of crash investments with three types of rating, and you can see here the list of the players with each category. The first category is 88 to 89 crash investment, and you can see all the players which are going to get higher prices than now. Another category is 90 and 91 rating players, and I have included all these players who will increase in upcoming days. And the third category we have is 91 and 92 rating players. All these players are included in 91 and 92 rating players. There are a lot of other good players for the investment too, but as per my observation I have included these only. Now let's know what are the advantages of investing in these crash investments. Here almost every player can rise and the profit is almost sure. Sometimes anything can happen, like in the market there are also exceptions, and due to some reasons we might get lost too, but crash investment is more safer to do if the good and trend players are selected. So that's the main advantage though, there are also some disadvantages we are going to get if we invest in these players. The main disadvantage is, it will take a little bit of time to increase to the peak or highest price. I why and what's the reason for that? For that you have to understand why these players are good for the investment. So, I suggested to you these players just because they deserve more price than they are at the recent price. Recent weekend challenge came, right? On Saturday and Sunday we got a weekend challenge and do you know that weekend challenge literally gives 88 plus rating players for fixed, and mostly it gives a lot of 90, 91 and 92 rating players also. So once people get 88 plus players, if they are useless then they will definitely sell, right? For example today I got a 90 rating dunk and I don't need him. So I will sell, and that's the reason in the weekends like Saturday and Sunday 88 to 97 rating players crash a lot. Mainly people pack players between 88 to 94, and they crash more. So even the players who deserve a good price get a crash. And when the players crash on the Saturday and Sunday after 3 to 4 days, I mean up to next Tuesday to Thursday again they will get their price back most of the time. So you can invest in them to earn more coins and sell when their price goes a bit higher. Now, it will surely take you up to next Tuesday to Thursday to get profit from those players, but if you want you can do an investment in other players which can give you profit faster. Recently we already did an investment on 95 rating Heroes players, and right now they are already at the higher price. You can get a profit from the 95 Heroes players within next Tuesday or Wednesday. Now next Tuesday we are going to get three types of exchange packs, and our next investment is totally dependent on that pack. The 89 to 97 rating and 93 to 97 heroes exchange pack is coming, and usually three types of player are affected by both of these exchange packs. The 93 to 97 rating exchange pack requirements contains 87 rating players, and 87 players will get to the higher price. I am expecting this time the 93 to 97 heroes exchange pack will be opened by many users, as the pack contains good players and the best CDM in the game. So 87 have. 
Higher chances to rise in the next Tuesday, and due to 89 to 97 rating exchange pack, and 85 plus TOTY are affected. I suggest making an investment in the 85 plus TOTY. Last time, 86 and 87 TOTY didn't perform that much good, but let's see what happens this time. 85 can give you decent profit. The main disadvantage of investing in 85 plus TOTY is, since last one to two weeks they are not performing that good, and the return they are giving is only 200k to 500k profit. I am expecting 87 rating players to go around 1.2 million minimum, and it is totally dependent on the 93 to 97 heroes exchange pack. The main disadvantage that you will get during requirements investment is, once the packs get old, the investments are risky and they don't give very high profit all the time. For example, the last 93 to 97 heroes and 95 rating exchange pack didn't give high profit, but last time 96 to 97 and yesterday's 93 to 94 rating exchange pack made a nice profit. So, they don't have any confirmation whether it will give you loss, decent profit or high profit. I mean they are risky if you do investment without analysis. Now the main advantage we will get is, the profit in exchange investment are instant most of the time. For example yesterday we invested in the 90 rating players and we got the profit very fast. Like some of us sold 90 rating players yesterday and got good profit in a day. Decide which player to invest yourself. In my case I did investment in the weekend crashed players where in another account I have done investment partially. I have invested in 95 heroes, 85 TOTY, 87 rating players, and even in the weekend crashed players. So yeah, my believers bros, that's it for today's episode and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing episodes. I will meet you with the next one. Till then, your lovely host Mr. Believer signing out.